Shalom. Uh, today we're going to deal with a lesson, um, as you see on your screen, does the name Yahweh appear in the New Testament? Because uh, for a long time, you know, uh, the New Testament, uh, which, which um, the majority of the New Testament was written in Hebrew first, then, um, sir, then it was translated to Greek. Uh, the only letters that were not uh, written in Hebrew at the beginning were uh, most of the letters that Paul wrote because he wrote it to the Israelite foreigners that spoke Greek. Um, the only letter that Paul wrote that was written in Hebrew was uh, the book to the Hebrews, which is obvious. Um, and uh, for a long time, you know, when you go into the Greek, uh, I believe it's also in the Septuagint, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but also in the New Testament Greek, uh, you'll never see the name of the Most High appear because they use the word kurios, which is uh, Greek for Lord. All right. So in this lesson, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go through the scriptures in the New Testament, a few of them, and we're gonna show you a contrast between where it says uh, Lord, and in the Greek says kurios, and then in, in the in the Hebrew it says you know, the uh, Hebrew equivalent of Lord, which we'll go through, and then certain parts in the scriptures where it uses the word Lord, and when you go into the Hebrew, you'll be surprised what's there. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get started right away. This is the book of um, Acts, the first chapter, and the sixth verse. This is uh, the disciples coming to Yahweh Shai and asking them if he was going to bestow the kingdom unto them at this time to Israel. And this is what they said. When they, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? So this is a question they were asking him. Now you see the word here in the English is Lord. And when you read through the uh, Greek, you got here, Kurie, Kurie, which, which uh, goes to the word Kurios, which means Lord. And this is correct. Uh, the word Lord should be here because the disciples are speaking to Yahweh Shai. Now, when you go to Acts, the first chapter, and the sixth verse in the Hebrew, you have here Sha'alwa, Awathwa, Anasapyam, Adawan, Nawa. Adawan is the Hebrew word of saying Lord, and then Nawa is the Hebrew way of saying our, our Lord. Adawan, Nawa. So when you go back, into Acts the first chapter and the sixth verse and they put the word kurios for Lord as you see in the English also they were correcting that because in the Hebrew the word there is other one and then the end of it is now our Lord now when we go to Romans 1 and 3 it says concerning his son Yahweh our Lord which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh now the word Lord you see here but then when you go to the Greek it doesn't really appear here in the Greek but then when you go to the transliteration or when you go to the breakdown of these different words, you see the word here concerning his son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. The word Lord here, you have what? Kurios. All right. So the word Kurios is there for Lord. And that's correct because it's speaking about Yahweh Shai. So now when you go to Romans 1 and 3 and you read through the Hebrew, it says, this is the third verse, I'll awadawath. Banwa Yahushai, which should be Yahushai, Hamashayach, the the um, uh, Messiah or the Anointed, Ada one Nawa, Ada one Lord, Nawa our, Ada one Nawa our Lord. So as you see there in this particular scripture, they have the right and correct uh, word for Lord. All right, because it was referring to Yahushai. This is Revelation eleven and eight. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And our Lord is who? Yahweh Shai. And when you read through the Greek once again, Kurios, which is Lord. Then when you go into the Hebrew of Revelation 11 and 8, you read through here, through the whole book. And then when you get to the end, it's Adawan Ma. Adawan Ma, which is Lord. All right? So basically, that's just letting you know that whenever you see the word Lord in the scriptures, if it's referring to Yahweh Shai, or if it's you know referring to like a, a master or a judge or a ruler or a leader, 
It could be Lord as other one, Kurios. That's the correct way of saying it. But then when you refer to the Most High, because remember when you when you go to the Greek, wherever the, the name of the uh, of of a Lord or the Lord or the Most High appeared, they just use the word Lord or Kurios, which is Lord. All right. But then when you when you go into the Hebrew, you have the contrast there, because now we're going to give you the other side of it. This is Acts two and twenty one. Now this is speaking about the Most High. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call in the name of the Lord shall be saved. Which goes back to the book of uh, Joel, the second chapter. You know, so it says, whosoever shall call in the name of the Lord shall be saved. When you read through the Greek, the word here is what? Kurio, which is kurios, you know, which means Lord. But now when you go into the Hebrew, you have Wahaya, Kal, Asherah, Yaquara'ah, Basham, Yahawah. In name, Yahawah. So here it says, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. It's not kurios. That's not what should be there in the Greek. All right? Because you have the word Yahweh here. To let you know that the name Yahweh appears in the New Testament. But it was, remember, it was written in the Hebrew before it was translated into the Greek. All right? And this is also a, a way to let you know that the name or that the Most High and Yahweh Shai are two separate entities. All right, so let's go to the next one. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let every one that nameth the name of Yahweh Shai depart from iniquity. So it says, the Lord knoweth them that are his. Now for the word Lord here, you have what? Kurios in the Greek. All right, now this is speaking about the Most High. So now let's go to... Um, the Hebrew portion of 2 Timothy 2 and 19. And what do you have here at the end of it? Basham Yahweh. In name Yahweh. Alright. So that's just letting you know that, that the, the Most High's name appears in the New Testament. You just got to know where to find it. You just got to uh, uh, dig. Here it goes again right here. Yahweh. Yahweh. Uh, you die. Yahweh. Okay. So that's, there you go, the Lord knoweth, uh, Yahweh die, or why you die, and knoweth, Yahweh. Ath, definitely, Asherah, which, Lawa, to him, or those that belong to him. So that's the name Yahweh. And then you see it again right here, Yahweh. So the name of Yahweh appears in the New Testament. This is, if you brothers go to, uh, to, uh, to the Hebrew New Testament, you check these same scriptures out, you're going to find out that the name of the Most High appears in all those scriptures that, that, I, that I read, and others also. And uh, the last scripture here is Revelation 22 and 5, And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And the word in the Greek is what? Kurios. So you see these devils, what they do is they lump everything up. You know, as, as Lord, you know, in, in, in the Greek. But then when you go back to the original language, Hebrew, what does it say there? Yahweh. So the name of the Most High appears in the New Testament. It's just that they, they uh, when they translated it into the Greek, they just left the word kurios for Lord. But it really should have been Yahweh. should have been a distinction there between Lord and when it speaks about Yahweh Shai or when it speaks about... um. A, a, a judge, a ruler, you know, or or and when it speaks about the Most High. So as you see, we went through them a uh, few verses where it spoke about Lord are the one or are the one year or are the one now, and then we went through the scriptures where it spoke about the Most High's name, Yahweh. And you notice that in every one of those scriptures, they had the word what Lord. You know, they had the word Lord there, in the English. And then when you go to the Greek, it had the same word, Lord, there. So every one of those scriptures had the word Lord there, you know. So that's just to let you know that, that there's a difference between uh, 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 Lord, you know. So there should have been some type of distinction there to distinguish when it's, spoke, when it's speaking about the Most High Himself or when it's speaking about Yahweh Shai or when it's speaking about an actual notable person, a Lord or Master or Ruler or whatever the case is, a Judge, all right. You know, so with that, you know, I hope your brother's been edified uh, to know that, that the, uh, the name of the Most High, Yahweh, appears in the New Testament. Um, you know, uh, I did a lesson like this uh, a while back. You know, I was looking for it to upload it, but I couldn't find it. So 
I uh, figured, you know, I'll just, you know, do another lesson. Uh, as I was speaking to Elder Ayathun, he's uh, working on a, on a lesson right now, um, dealing with a, 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 a situation uh, down in one of those uh, camps, one of Nate's camps, you know. So I figured, let me just go through this again because I haven't gone through it in a while, just to uh, uh, show you, brothers, that this appears in the scriptures. All right, so with that, um, I'm going to say shalom, and I hope you brothers were edified.